<laughs> All right, wake up. Good morning. 29 degrees. Full house here for you today. Should be interesting. JC? <laughs> hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a Friday morning edition. We got a special treat in here today. We got a former big time CNN weatherman and former Channel 31. I don't know if you can hear that big time or not. But Brad Huffine <laughs> rejoins us this morning. Matthew, Greg, and also playing last night with David Allen Cole in Fort Worth, Alabama. Decided to just drive on over here all night long. Been doing an all-nighter. Ben Phillips is going to play, and he's pretty good. Actually, he's not like most of the singers we have up here. <laughs> but we'll hear from him in just a little bit, too. All that's coming up. Tom Frank in here. We'll get around this morning. We were at Bean Day yesterday. It's been hard We've got some video of that. Anyway, thank y'all for getting up with us. We'll get this party started in just a moment. We enjoy Chick-fil-A. Like thank you, song. Matthew. My pleasure. Glad now, yogurt do. shop's about to open. Just about talk about that with Greg in just a second, too. All that's coming your way on this morning. You, know, you can always text Gloria, 603-4848. Uh, don't worry about sending me anything. I ain't turned my iPad on yet. <laughs> But thank y'all for getting up with us this morning because I feel fantastic. Here's the weather. <laughs> He's so dragging this morning. We're all making fun of him. But let's it's talk about that weather day. forecast. It must have been all those beans. Could have been. 29 degrees out there right now, but things are actually going to warm up today. High temperatures around 59 with your low of 36 <laughs> and full sunshine. Thankful for that. Tomorrow, 64 for your high. Got 46 my bonnet on you, Matthew. Uh, partly cloudy skies, but it looks like the weekend's going to be beautiful. We may see a little bit of rain on Sunday night, carried on into Monday morning. Oh, you're laying out there. this weekend. I am laying out this weekend. Thanks for the She won't that. go get a spray tan, Brad. So I'm I pretty put, white. I put a stop to that. I know. I didn't, I've never had one, so I was thinking about it, and he's like, no way. You put a what? Spray tan. Yeah, but you put a what? He's delusional. Stop to it. That's not the reason I didn't get it. Don't you have to get naked to do that? Well, I don't mind that part. <laughs> Why don't we get one at home, man? <laughs> Matthew, you ever had a spray tan? I have not had you a spray tan. You know what you look tan. like? You look like you're a white boy just like me. I couldn't get a friggin' tan if I stood under a... She won't buy a candle and get blistered. <laughs> I need to. Brad, looks like you done lost a few pounds. Yeah, I, I've lost about an eight-year-old, actually. I'm about 77, 78 pounds now in about Good a year. Oh, gosh. Wow, so, uh, yeah. It's... Well, now you ain't working. Well, exactly. <laughs> not if you, as much, you don't huh? work, you don't eat. So, uh, no, actually, I'm working harder than I've ever worked in my life. I love all about the brands up here. up, you know, it was uh, probably a year ago. Tornado came through on March 2nd. Yep. Barely missing nice. your house. Right. It showed up at the house, and then two years ago in April, you know, devastation. So, you ain't up here to do bad news today, are you? Oh, uh, there, there's no, never any bad news in weather. Never. I'm just kidding, of course. It's just a, some well, reminders of... kind of felt odd doing weather when you were here. Well, well some, some of the new things that are out, well, I, I want to talk about some yeah. of those because some we'll of the new things aren't as good as they think. All right. uh -huh. And this, and we'll hear from Ben in just a moment, too. Pat, he's big time. David Allen Cole last night, Jamie Cooper show the next and up morning. Night. That's what I call hitting the big time, Ben. <laughs> yeah, but, but what I, wa I want him to sing some, some actual David Allen Cole lyrics. I think that he <laughs> yeah. actually sings. I, I don't really know if we can hear. get away with those or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early. <laughs> too early. Right, let me ask you, I want to give you all a quiz this morning, boys. USA Report. How many sodas does the average America consume a year? Too many. It was higher in 98. I, I, would, I would say 450. I have no idea. I would... The average American? Yeah. I would say it's probably a 1,800. 1,800? <laughs> a year. What kind of sugary people you have? <laughs> that's not that many. I mean, I, 1,800? That's less than five a day. Brad's almost correct. Greg already gave it away, so you don't have to go in there. You think a lot. <laughs> All right, in uh, 98, average person consumed. Okay, let's go back to Matthew. You drink five a day? No. 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 <laughs> I'm just saying average people. Okay. Last year, 476, Brad, so you were, I knew you were smart for some reason. I may drink one, well, one 1800? a week. 1,800? I believe it's more than that. I'm just telling you. Well, remember, he sees people come through and, and right, sees Chick them get the big drinks and drink them all day long. I don't know if they're, I guess they're counting that too, but. Uh, I don't know. I oh, guess yeah. it probably averages out because you have some people that drink no soft drinks and then some people that drink lots, so. Did you, any of y'all besides us, watch the Bible premiere the other night on History Channel? It's on my DVR. I haven't seen it yet. It's on my DVR as well. I haven't had a chance this week. So. You heard about it? I've heard about it. All right. Y'all notice I'm reading this with my bionic eye now. I don't need my reading glasses. This one I can't see out of, but a new, my, new bionic I can. The story of greed, lust, jealousy. Huh. Sounds like my life. 
<laughs> Love, hate, betrayal, destruction, salvation, and renewal has captivated believers, instigated debate for hundreds of years on the greatest story ever told. That's still your life, isn't it? It's the Bible. <laughs> oh, That's right. Okay. Hello, they did this. It came on Sunday night. It's a 10 hour television miniseries. It aired Sunday night. Of course, we watched it. We came on live and recorded it. 13 million people, Matthew, watched the premiere. Wow. That's a lot. 4.6 million adults, 25 to 54, which I ain't even in that category no more, <laughs> in beating the offerings of CBS, ABC, NBC, and Fox. It wow, was the really? number one show on television. Besides whatever we were running here Sunday night, <laughs> <laughs> huh? that's really it's, surprising. It, People it magazine only gave it two stars. What's really well, encouraging, actually. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, I mean it's goodness. but it also shows they did some really good marketing too. Yeah, they, they did. did, and that's a good show. Greg, I don't guess you saw it. Hands off, yet. Well, it'll be on again Sunday night. Was it like a ten? All right, Matthew. Hour series. Yes, sir. Turn back your clock. Saturday. Turn it back. No, turn it back. You're going to get me in forward. trouble. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to you to open it. USA Today says this morning, a slumber bummer, the lost hour. Your case of Mondays is about to get worse. Sunday at 2 a.m. is the start of daylight savings time. Stupidest thing. Which means all of a sleep deprived American loses one precious hour of shut eye. Dumbest thing ever. Oh, they've all, they got 61% of Americans say changing the clocks has an effect on them. 40% said it takes them at least a week to get back to normal. You believe that? Dumbest thing ever. What kind of job y'all got? <laughs> Takes you away. Then I've got a sleep expert here. Okay, sleep educator, Nancy sleep Rothenstein. Sleep educator. Bet she's Jewish. <laughs> Says the small shift makes a huge difference in your body's natural clock, Matthew. <laughs> well, ain't she? Yeah. <laughs> Would think so. Or maybe, or at least married to one. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Or be married to one. <laughs> Good See, it's, what's the, I'm still, I'm still in TV. I was in, you know, on TV for 27 years. I'm still in TV mode. So well, you, you got a long way, things like that. You got good. a long way to fix your hair up before exactly. you get to match me. <laughs> According to a survey from Sleepy, the mattress retailer, nearly 70 percent of all Americans would favor moving the time change from 2 a.m. Uh, Sunday to 2 a.m. on Saturday. Yeah, why would they do that? Started on Saturday. Because Congress had something to do with it. I'm surprised <laughs> it wasn't Wednesday or something. Yeah, well, all right, I got some news we'll talk about in just a little. Anything else, Matthew? Talk about the race? Yeah, we can talk about the race if you like. Coming so. up in April. Yeah, April 6th, so we're just a, less than a month away here. So four weeks, I guess, from today. So. Active. Yogurt shop opening when? March yeah. 23rd. <laughs> March 23rd, and as I stated yesterday on the show, here's what gets me, Brad. This was my topic yesterday. Greg's opening up a yogurt shop mm -hmm. on Highway 30. It's next to the liquor store. <laughs> Yes. You all women, you know where a liquor store is. I do. Okay, at least you admit it. <laughs> yes. I'm in a spinning honest. class. I take spinning two days a week. Well, last Saturday it was packed. There's 20 people in there. Well, Dusty's in there, the pastor down Lindsay Lane. I told him, talk about this yesterday. I, I said, hey, the yogurt shop's open. I always like to talk while I'm riding. And you they talk said, well, where's it going to be? I said, it's going to be next to the liquor store. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know I had a liquor store. I said, why well, stop? I said, wait a minute. Y'all are telling me not one of y'all in this class <laughs> wants to admit you know where Athens has a liquor store because Dusty's in here preaching. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows where it I is. I said, he knows where it is. <laughs> That's right. That's it. You actually told me that some people won't even use boxes from the liquor store. To if they're moving. If they're moving because it's got a Jim Bean picture on That's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go to a man that don't drink right now, Ben Phillips. <laughs> he played in front of hey, David Allen Cole last night, coming in from Florence this morning. He's going to put on a show. He's going to do two or three songs this morning. Let's go local and loaded on a Friday morning. Thank y'all for getting up with us. Y'all hang on about five He's seconds. And we'll hear from this young man who claims to have known me from years ago. <laughs> we'll talk about that, too. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a little bit. Y'all know how many people tell me that every day. Hey, y'all. He was just and, a baby, though. And we'll right? run that uh, video from the Bean Day, too, in just a little bit. I had to ride back with the windows down yesterday. I was like, you uh, did not. Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got to give a shout-out to Zeke. He'll be in the video, too. All right, let's go local and loaded, and we'll hear some fine music from... The man who fronted David Allen Cole last night. Y'all, <laughs> hang on. He smoked a drink in days just like she always wanted. He quit dead in jail that his best friend got him. Traded in those cowboy boots for button downs and designer shoes. You should see him walking. 
he does actions let's learn do the talking the boy spins all his time making sure she's got it easy the honey do never goes undone he tips them off completely he cleans the house and folds the clothes pays the bills and heaven knows her dog needs walking he does actions and lets her do the talking he ain't do anything he don't Cause she wants him to He does it all for nothing Don't ask for anything It's worth a while To see her smile At the end of his long day They all his buddies laugh at him Tell him that he's lost them That they're in his body's in To show her who the boss is he just laughs and plays alone Cause he knows when the day's gone There's no one waiting home For none of them He does actions And lets her do the talking He ain't doing anything He don't want to do He just does it all Just because she wants him to smile in his long day he ain't smoked drinking days I traded in cowboy boots I still walking all her dogs letting her do the talking Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.